Hey everyone, it's Kendra. I'm in my back room today and I am going to um, use the Kiwi Select All Protector Rain and Stain Protector for Leather Spray on my Easy Tote. Noonday bags don't need to be treated, except for this one. This one is a bag that does need to be treated. As you can see, it's naturally gonna come kind of scuffed and scratched. That's just the softness of this leather. So, um, I'm gonna take you to my basement and um, I'm gonna show you how, what I do. All right, so I'm in my basement and I just put a old um, piece of plastic underneath because I don't wanna stain the floor. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys a video of how I spray it. I have never used a leather protectant spray before. That's not my thing. <laughs> so this is new to me and I'm gonna sample on the bottom first. Okay, so I did my first treatment and it says to give it an hour to dry and then to do another treatment. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and the reason I'm gonna treat it y'all is because it's an almost $300 bag. So I want it to last. And um, what's happening is people were saying that they were, it was getting caught in the rain and then it was getting like all speckled from the rain. Like the drops wouldn't really dry. Now for like just comparison, I have this. Um, raven and lily bag this leather bag and you can see it's like got some good damage on it i love that i love the character to it but you might not want that character in the first week you carry the bag so you want to have like you want to be able to have a bag that lasts you a long time right so that's drying downstairs i'm gonna go get my workout in and then i'll be back all right so i'm back from my workout and it's time to spray my bag again so far so good it doesn't really look using the window light down here it doesn't look like stained or anything it looks maybe it looked maybe like a darker shadow but it's not there's no notice that i that i used a conditioner on it like it's in perfect condition still so i'm gonna go ahead and spray a second layer like it asks me to all right my second coat is done basement chronicles of treating my easy tote. So here is my second coat. Um, you can see how when I spray it, it looks pretty speckled. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let it dry for a few hours and then um, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, this is a product I'm using again. It's so nice and it tells you the directions right on the back, you know, six to eight inches. Allow to dry one hour. Second application is recommended and then repeated application like over time. Um, where it water and stains. So my friends who've used this on their easy tote, they've said like water will get on it like raindrops and it'll kind of pill up, but it won't sink in. And so that's my prayer because if it sinks in, it will kind of ruin that leather. So um, we'll be back later with my final update and to show you it with my fun vivid strap. All right, so it's completely treated. Um, it looks a little darker here than it is in real life. Might just be the way I'm standing. Maybe some more, there you go, more light. Just a little darker, nothing super surprising. But now is for the ultimate test and that's the water test. And I'm most nervous about this, so I'm just gonna do the bottom. So I'll kind of show you what I'm gonna do to test it out. All right, so here's my sink and I'm not gonna dunk it under or anything. I don't wanna be that risky. I'm gonna just test it on the bottom to see how it did. Oh, wow, you guys, look at Do you notice how it's like not soaking in at all? Yay, I think we did it, you guys. Let me see what it looks like if I wipe it. Okay, so they're kind of like wiped them in. These are just like not wiping in though. So we'll see what happens to these that wiped in. I'm kind of curious um, since this side didn't, but this side did, I wonder if that's just part I didn't put enough solution or if it will dry. Um, just kind of curious. So we'll report back in a little bit. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes since I tested out the water on my bag. And I'll show you the bottom. It is not 100% dry, but it is almost dry and you can hardly see it. Like you can see it a little bit up close. Um, 
but I'm gonna give it some time to dry and so it might be a little bit. So I want it to be able to dry fully so I can give you a really, um, a really good review. So you can see like here and here where I like really rubbed it in. You can hardly see it. You can only see it a little bit in this section. So when I feel it, it's still a little wet. So I'm gonna let it dry all the way and then I'll let you know. All right, ladies. So here it is about an hour after. I can tell that it's still drying a little bit, but I feel confident enough that you can hardly see anything on the bottom anymore. Um, that this leather protectant is the one you're gonna want that kiwi spray you can like see just a little bit here but again like i said it's still a little like damp i can feel so um i can report back later if you want more um but this is the leather protectant i think you're gonna want i love the way it just pilled on it and it didn't stay or really soak in until i rubbed it in now i wanted to show you some of the different straps we have so this is our vivid strap and these come assorted, so they might look all different. This is giving work to a woman in Guatemala, and our um, and the Easy Tote is giving work to a woman in Mexico. So super sweet, super fun. Um, I just want to kind of show you. So here it is, stunningly beautiful, so pretty. And here's the Easy Tote, all fixed up for you. So. Hope this was helpful and um, thanks so much for supporting small businesses around the globe and creating artisan work.